You've probably seen some of these iconic fish fossils before. These were a pair of Nydeas, an Alta and an Eocena, and they came from the Green River Formation in Wyoming. But what is the Green River Formation? Let's briefly discuss that today, but first, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It tremendously helps the channel, and it helps me bring you even more fun fossil, geology, gem, whatever content. Let's get to it. The Green River Formation is an Eocene Age geological event, or formation rather, uh, roughly 50 million years old, that is the remnants of a group of interconnected intermountain lakes in three basins along the present-day Green River in Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah. Interestingly, uh, the lakes are believed to have persisted for around 12 million years, which is a tremendous amount of time for a series of lakes. <laughs> uh, these are known as Fossil Lake, Lake Uinta, and Lake Gossiut, whose names I've likely butchered, but that's how it be. So what makes this formation special? Its unique level of preservation. There is evidence that these freshwater lakes had a thin layer of salt water on the bottom. Uh, this kept fish, crocodilians, and basically any other animal from munching on the dead stuff down there. So there are a lot of intact fossils that were unbothered entirely. As sediments built up, it created exceptionally preserved fossils. There are dozens of fish species, including stingrays, which is really cool, by the way, as well as bats, insects, reptiles, and any other critter, uh, any other critter, any other critter that happened to sink to the bottom. <laughs> it's a true wonderland for fossil hunters, hands down. And if you want to dig in Wyoming, uh, at least the Wyoming side, I'm not too familiar with the Utah or Colorado sides myself, but if you want to dig in the Wyoming side, I'll have a link in the description to a website that has all the useful information that you would want and the places you can go as well as some other places you can go to gain some general knowledge of the area. You know, this is a low effort video today. I'll be back to editing out the October Birthstone series very soon. Uh, this coming Sunday, actually, I'll be working on that a little bit more as well as a video detailing one of the more famous or rather infamous gem collections out there. But anyway, this has been fun. I hope you've learned a little bit today, and let me know in the comments what you think about the Green River Formation. Is this something that you've been familiar with in the past? Have you ever been? Have you ever dug? That would be cool. But I'll see you in the next video, and you all have a wonderful day.